The bug world crawls with consummate killers who size you up and track you down. These are hunters that never give up. When they strike, there is no clemency, no compassion. All of this happens while you're still alive. And no concept of concern for their fellow bug. A slick killing machine. Its huge limbs launch it through the air in search of prey. A wolf spider, prowling for food, doesn't realize it's on the menu. Of soft spider flesh. When the meal is over, the master of disguise lies in wait for another victim. In less time than it takes to blink, switchblade arms snatch the tiger beetle. The mantid spins its foe around, keeping the beetle's deadly mandibles at a safe distance. All the while, the mantid's jaws wreak havoc. cuts the caterpillar's performance short with a surgical strike. Bravely, the caterpillar tries to twist free. It lashes with its forked tail, desperately trying to get in a bite. Soft tissue splits like the skin of a sausage, spilling the remains of the caterpillar's last meal. This big bad bug never eats its greens. The soldier ant wanders into dangerous territory. The spider's huge eyes are trained on the approaching target. scoops up the huge mandibles, disabling the ant's primary weapon. But a soldier ant isn't any bug. It's special ops. There'll be no surrender, despite being wrapped up. The army ant can still land a lethal sting. It waits for its opportunity. The spider, too, is choosing its moment. It takes a chance. One bite through the silk sends venom coursing through the ant's body. This soldier's fighting days are over. Its innards are turned to mush and sucked out. All that's left is a shrink-wrapped shell. This large katydid is an accomplished killer, but when it puts the wrong foot forward, it doesn't even have time to draw. Huge fangs inject a potent neurotoxin that shuts down the katydid's internal organs. The red thigh ropes its prey with a silk lariat, stretched, poised to strike. The black tail doesn't flinch. It'll be the quick or the dead.
the spider only escapes by sacrificing its own leg. the prey with a pincher, hold it out at a distance so it can't strike back, and then deliver the venom at a point-blank range. That's a textbook hit. As the venom flows through the spider's body, it shuts down system after system. In fact, it's so fast, it produces an almost instantaneous meltdown. Another outlaw bites the dust. The scorpion feeds at its leisure. Its two claw-like mouthparts tear off pieces of spider flesh. They're pulled into a pre-oral cavity to be liquefied. It might take hours but the scorpion will dispose of its victim, skin and all. Well, tonight, perhaps too well. Heading homeward, its concentration lapses. And it's snared in the orb weaver's trap. In a frenzy, the flame belly throws silk bandages around its victim. The spider must work fast. One wrong move, and the longicorn's timber-tearing jaws could sever a leg, even chop its opponent in half. In a last-ditch effort, the beetle pierces the silken death shroud with its mandibles. But the spider keeps a safe distance. And predator and prey are locked together in a spiral dance of death. The spider probes for a chink in the tough armor. Delivers a toxic bite. And retreats to the middle of the web, confident that its venom will do the rest. All that remains is for the flame-bellied orb weaver to haul its dinner up and feast. Long raptorial limbs are lined with dagger-like spikes, sharp enough to puncture human skin. But the hooded mantis has no trouble taking it down. Super sharp mandibles, like the teeth of a great white, gouge the victim's head. And when the katydid's dangerous rear legs keep kicking, they are removed with clinical precision. The Brazilian wandering spider takes no prisoners. Not with blinding speed, but like a slowly grasping hand. The two stone-cold assassins come face to face. So close, they are actually touching. In a battle like this, there is no margin for error. The hooded mantis tries its favorite bluff. But the spider isn't fooled. Like a Hollywood fight scene, the enemy agents are locked together in a precarious battle. 
The mantis is in the perfect position. Its mandibles could rip open the spider's belly. But it's too late. Like poison-tipped umbrellas, the spider's fangs puncture the mantid's thorax. Deadly neurotoxins flood the mantid's body. Within seconds, vital organs begin shutting down. The prospect of a massive feast as the spider's digestive juices flowing. Massive daggers slash the body to pieces. And it's sucked up like a mantis martini. The crab's getaway isn't quick enough. More warriors enter the combat, biting the crab's exposed eyes, looking for a way past the armor to the sweet flesh beneath. Overturned and overrun, the crab claws at its attackers. But against such small enemies, those huge pincers are clumsy and ineffective. The army ants concentrate on joints in the crab's shell. The tiny gaps between armor plates are wide enough for probing stings and cutting mandibles. The crab's body shutting it down. As the crab takes its last breaths, the ants start to dismantle their fallen foe. The harvestman struggles, but thrashing only tightens its slimy bonds. It's the glue from hell. With its victim pinned and defenseless, the velvet worm switches to safe cracker mode, looking for a way into its meal. Like hellish cookie cutters, the powerful mandibles start sawing through the harvestman's armor. Eventually, the worm injects its toxic saliva. Things don't always turn out the way you'd expect in the bug realm. You can have all the weapons in the world, but slow and sticky, often wins the race. The jungle stalker doesn't demur. It reaches forward. The katydid darts off to rethink its battle plan. It decides to attack again from the side. But with its hydraulic legs, this spider can move any which way. Huge fangs puncture the katydid's protective armor. The black face bucks and kicks, but the stalker's fangs are deep and trigger a ticking time bomb. At this point, the clock is at two minutes to midnight, but the spider still has to be extremely careful of the candidate's spiked legs and mandibles, because if it gets even the slightest chance to use them, it will, even as it draws its final breath. Keeping the katydid's limbs out of harm's way, the stalker maintains its steely grip. The kicks become feeble, and the maniacal grin becomes a death rictus. The scorpion grabs a leg, while avoiding the ambly pigeon's stiletto-tipped clubs. 
It angles its stinger for a kill shot. The amblypigid locks on, attempting to crush its opponent into submission. But the scorpion's tail is free. The scorpion injects its cocktail of tissue-destroying venom. Before it takes effect, the amblypigid makes one last-ditch attempt to escape. But the Red Forest Scorpion is not about to lose its grip on this meal. Breaking a leg in two, it begins to feed as the venom takes hold. The Amblypigeon flatlines. And in a final indignity, this ancient medieval fighter becomes a free-for-all buffet on the forest floor. The female has one goal, to have her eggs fertilized. Otherwise, the male is just one more piece of meat. Her huge fangs, like daggers, pierce his head. Now her juices start flowing. Digestive enzymes break down her would-be lover. His flesh dissolves. What the male had hoped would be dinner for two is now soup for one. The tarantula is poised to attack. Against any other bug, the battle would be over. But those ice pick fangs haven't yet found soft flesh. They're hooked on the cockroach's armored collar. The spider's holding on like a rodeo rider on a bucking bronco. There's another problem, an annoying ant swarm. The cockroach catches a break. But just as it gets off the mat, round two begins. A fang plunges through the cockroach's armor. Dozens of mites who made a home under the cockroach's wings start leaving the sinking ship. Now the tarantula sucks the life out of its once mighty opponent. In the bug world, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. And severs a hind leg. The venom claws now serve as silverware, pulling soft flesh from the exoskeleton. Like a discerning diner ripping meat from a lobster tail. Nearby, Another denizen of the dark emerges, hungry for blood. With its heavy armor and creeping crab-like walk, the Vinegaroon is a primeval nightmare. The centipede charges in like a hungry locomotive. But the Vinegaroon grabs first, the centipede lashes its body around. Venom claws looking for a way in.
The centipede's legs kick feebly as claw-like chelicery tear into its neck, almost severing the head. Regurgitated digestive juices flood the wound, transforming solid flesh into centipede soup. Launches straight into danger. The banana spider approaches with caution. The katydid struggles to escape, but finds itself deeper in the web. The banana spider seizes its chance. Sharp fangs pierce the katydid's abdomen, delivering their toxic payload. Even as the venom shuts down her nervous system, the orange-horned katydid tries to bite through the silken trap. The beauty queen approaches again. The katydid isn't giving up. She fights furiously. Eventually, the katydid's struggles grow feeble. The web weaver delivers the death blow. It's been a titanic battle. The beauty queen wraps the spoils and begins her long victory feast. She doesn't bother with regal table manners. Digestive enzymes break down the katydid's body, turning soft tissue into a protein shake. In the bug world, Beauty queens don't get their kudos from crowning ceremonies. They get their kicks when their rivals are trash on the forest floor. But it's not quick enough. The probing proboscis finds its mark. The proboscis then switches from syringe to drinking straw. The victim's liquefied innards are sucked up by this all-in-one instrument of death. It's been a red-letter day for the flag tail. No mess, no fuss. Everything you'd expect from an experienced assassin. The mantis makes the first move, advancing boldly up the leaf. With its guard up, the mantis is rocked by a lightning one-two combination. The bronze huntsman looks to up the ante. The mantis neatly sidesteps. The sparring continues. Then the mantis gambles on a full frontal assault. As tactics go, it's not what you'd call inspired. The mantis finds its slender body bent over backwards, gripped in a killer clinch. With no referee to call break, the huntsman's fangs plunge like daggers into the mantid's thorax. The mantis refuses to throw in the towel, biting and grabbing its opponent's pedipal with a shark-toothed arm. This former champion won't be getting off the canvas.